Hey, how you doing? Dennis here, and today we're going to be checking out responsive design using just one layout and setting breakpoints using variables. Let's get started. So starting with a single layout here, I've made it with auto layout and flexible containers, but I need to set some parameters, and we're going to do that with variables. So let's start a collection. Let's call it breakpoints, and let's start with a number variable and set our maximum width. Let's do 1920, 1199, and 699. Let's name our modes large, medium, and small. Now let's create another number variable and set our minimum width 1200, 700, and 320. Now let's select our layout, go to the width, let's add a minimum width, but set it to our variable, set maximum width, and set that to our maximum width variable. Let's test it out. There's our large breakpoint dimensions. Go down here to layers, let's set it for medium. Then we'll see our medium breakpoint dimensions and let's try it out at small. Now you're going to see the layout doesn't really work in these smaller dimensions, but we're going to adjust that with other variables going forward. Let's go back to our variable collection. Let's create a Boolean variable, and let's call it left nav. We're going to set it to true on our large and false on our smaller views. Let's create another one, call it hamburger menu, we're going to leave it false on our large view, and we're going to set it to true on our two smaller views. Let's go back to our layout, select the left nav, go to layers, and apply the left nav variable. Now select the hamburger menu, and apply the hamburger menu variable. Now when we select our layout and we set it to our smaller breakpoints, medium and small, you'll see that the left nav disappears and the hamburger menu appears. Now let's adjust our spacing. Let's create a new number variable. Let's call it left right margin. Set the large setting to 40, medium to 30, and small to 20. Create another one. Let's do top bottom margin. Let's set it at 40 and leave the medium and small at zero. Now let's apply those variables to our margins. Select the variable icon here. Select left right margin. Select the top bottom variable icon and select top bottom margin. Let's try that out. As we change our layouts, we should see the margins around the outside adjust. Now let's create a string variable. Let's call it label. And let's match our modes with large, medium, and small. Now grab the text up here in our header and let's apply the variable here. Now when we switch between our layouts, you'll see the title change from large, medium, and small in the header. Now let's make some design adjustments to our header and footer. Let's start with a color variable. Let's call it header color. Let's keep it white on large, but let's make it black on the medium and small view. Let's do another one for the footer. Call it footer color. It's fours on the large setting and black on the medium and small. Now let's apply those. Select the header. Come over here to the fill palette and select your header color variable. Do the same with the footer and select footer color. Now let's create another color variable and let's call it header element color. 
and let's make it threes and leave them white on the smaller views. Select the text in the header. Let's change it to our header element color. Our logo up here is a component, so let's select that, go to the component, and let's change the text on the logo to our new variable header element color. Now let's test it out. Select the hamburger menu icon and apply the header element color to it. And now our colors will change appropriately. Now let's modify some of the spacing on the smaller views. Let's create some new number variables. Let's call this first one header left right padding. Let's leave the large at 0, medium at 30, and small at 20. Let's do another one. Let's call this header top bottom padding. Large stays at 0, medium at 10, and small at 10. Let's do another one. Let's give them a corner radius. Leave large at 0, and let's do medium and small at 20. Let's make the logo size smaller on the smaller view. Let's make it 70 on the large view, 70 on the medium, and reduce it to 50 on the small. Let's create a Boolean variable. Let's call it logo text, and let's mark it true on the large and medium and false to hide it on the small view. Now let's apply all these new variables. Select the header, go over here to corner radius, open this panel up, and let's set corner radius to the bottom two corners. Select the footer and let's apply the corner radius variable to the top two corners. Select the header again. Let's apply the header left right padding and the top bottom padding. Select the word layout. Let's apply the logo text variable, open up the logo, and apply that variable to the text on the logo. Now select the logo itself, and let's apply the logo size variable to the width and to the height. Now let's try all of that out. Nice. Now let's reduce the amount of photos on the smallest view to one photo per bridge. Create a Boolean variable. Let's call it hide cards. Let's mark it true on large and medium and leave it false on small. Now select all of the images that we elect not to see on our smallest view. and apply the hide cards variable. I've created two different layouts of a table as a component. I have a horizontal layout, which is a standard table and is flexible like this. And then I have a vertical format which is more of a card format that is flexible this way for my smaller views. I also set up both of these table components with text properties. This allows me to update content on one of the tables and have it change on both of them at the same time. So as long as I make modifications in the component, it will happen across all of my layouts wherever these tables appear. Let's create a variable to toggle between these two tables. Create a string variable. Let's call it table layout. On our large view, let's set it to horizontal. On medium, let's set it to vertical. 
And on small, let's set it to vertical. Select the table. And in the layout property, set that to the table layout variable. So now our table will change with the appropriate layout. Nice. You don't want your dev team to have to switch between modes, so let's create sections to break them out separately. And let's call them large, medium, and small. Now we can select our main layout, we can change it to auto, and we can slide that over into these different sections. Select each section and apply the appropriate breakpoint mode. And just like magic, your layout will automatically change to the appropriate mode depending on which section it's in. To prepare this for your dev team, Simply duplicate the layout across each section. Then mark each section ready for dev. If you want to show the minimum and maximum widths within that breakpoint, simply duplicate them again and squeeze them down to their smallest size. And there you have all of your views quickly created from one master layout. A helpful tip in things like this is just take it one step at a time. That's all I have for you today. I hope you found this useful and learned something new. I'll see you for more lessons real soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.